Hello everyone, this is Navneet and uh, in this demo we are going to learn about newly launched feature within Athena. Um, so now Athena let you do a data analysis using the PySpark, right? So that's, that's get interesting. So here what we're looking to do is how you can start. So uh, this is being recently announced during the reinvent in order for you to start so even before if you do not know athena so athena let you run a query against your data sitting in in s3 using the standard sql so that how it used to be but now with this launch now not not only you able to query the data but you also able to perform the analysis against the data as it right so in order for you to start that uh, you have to go to this uh, notebook Okay, so it looks like my session got expired. Let me quickly click here and get back to the session. Okay, so I'm here uh, in my console and uh, what I will be looking to do is, uh, let me go to the Athena. And uh, once I'm in Athena, I will able to, so first task I will be looking to do is creating this notebook, right? So if I, in order for me to create this notebook, it asking me like, create a work group so if you do not know what the work group uh, work groups in athena it's uh, you can think of in a space where you're able to perform your your work so you can able to uh, segregate your user on a work group you're able to assign resources based on the work group etc etc so here i will be when i select creating the work group it asking me to have either use the athena sql or use the apache spark so we are going to use the apache spark so you can think of Athena Spark demo, uh, and uh, it has a um, it has a various uh, options being available, like additional configurations. So we are using the default, so which is more like it's creating an IAM role for us, and it's calculating the results settings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. However, you able to you know just click on the use default, and it will be it will be creating all those things here. So I will be just going and uh, you know creating and just uh, going to use default and uh, once done i will be just clicking on a create work group right so if you see here uh, this this work group has been created it's showing like it's turned on right so what i will be doing different work groups right so here if i go into the query editors first i will be uh, uh, sorry I'm, I'm going to the notebook editor and then i'm selecting this newly created work group so once i created this newly created work group uh and remember when we were creating that work group there's an option for me to let me go back one more time so if i'm going and creating this uh, work group here um uh, if i'm creating this work group if i'm selecting this work group there's an option for me to turn on the example notebook so uh I forgot to mention earlier, but I have I have turned on that example notebook. So that's the reason when I'm going back in my uh, notebook editor, I'm able to see this example notebook. So let's go and uh, click on this example notebook. I will be also showcasing how you're able to create a notebook, but I don't think that's that's an issue there. It's it's very easy. So here, if you see uh, this new session has been started, so it's look like it's a session based pricing, right? So and then you're able to edit the session you're able to perform like what with the time idle timeout what with the maximum concurrency value and what where the value it will be starting right so here um i will be so what in this example what we're doing is we are working with the spark data frame so we are reading this file this parquet file here and once the parquet file is being this is the file name which is giving and then we are reading this file here and then printing printing it right so this this is being executing so this is nice and once that was that has been done we can able to perform all other actions right so this looked like the file reading has been let's quickly see what kind of a data types uh, what kind of a, what will be type of this here so it's looked like it's a data frame right which we know that's because it's working on spot so here we just running a our spark uh, session here and uh, yeah so perfect nice and then we are just printing the table value which is okay as well so this is this is running got it 
and same right and then we are writing back to s3 so here we are reusing overwrite so which kind of every time we are writing it's an overwriting this result set which is fine here is the example of uh, of uh, using the spark sql so here again we just uh, you know using the spark sql creating the data frame and just uh, showcasing the top 50 record which is fine and uh, perfect so if you see here right just use this created created uh, replaced the view use and then use that uh, means created table uh, called taxi using the data frame which we have created earlier and then we are just reading it right so this is fine everything is look okay i uh, don't see any issues here it's just creating a new database showcasing all the tables etc etc right so and then you're able to perform some plotting means what all things you able to do in a notebook and using the spark you able to perform everything but this is really neat right now you have all the data sitting in s3 you're able to use uh able to have a spark on on athena and you to perform the query uh you're able to do the same thing using using glue as well uh whereas like now if you're just an spark user or if you're just an athena user it make your make your job super easy you have not to go to any other services you can just simply use athena to perform not only the data discovery using the query functionality but also you will to perform the data uh, analysis and able to make uh, uh you know able to perform the data uh, optimization and uh, and you're able to do a lot of uh, etl as well using this part so this is this is how it works other thing is like uh, mm, if you have to like you know create a notebook you just be clicking on this plus icon right and then maybe just calling it a notebook here so once once that is being done uh, it will be creating a new notebook and uh, the notebook is being created and if i just simply go and run the spark let's see what's happened okay so it's creating a spark context right so this is this is fun so it will be creating a spark sessions and then now i able to run all kind of a statement here and uh, and able to see okay so a master athena default is this is this is the name uh, this is the spark context right so fair enough so i think this is now you're able to go and uh, perform the data read so if i go and uh, this okay we don't have any databases so it's not showing anything in here but if i go back and uh, in my previous notebook and if i go and uh, create database and uh, here if i just list okay sorry i should be been printing here so it's giving me all all the all the databases which we have in in this uh, in here right so we have a we have a database which we have recently created the uh, mm, database of knowledge spark spark uh, demo database so it's, it's been created now mm, so if i just simply go and uh, run spark uh, spark demo show table and spark demos so it should be running here yeah so i don't see any table being is being added uh to this one here so if what they're doing is create a new table okay fine this is this is a new table is being created here so you you might you may, might you got the sense like how this this works so ideally it should let you let you run a query uh, now you able to go and uh, see the tables in here right so this should be fine so this is this is around this work group so all the table is being created so all the databases and table is being created around this this work group you able to do you able to perform this, this operations right and uh, yeah that's that's it uh, other thing which you're able to do is you able to if uh, in order for you to uh, to connect uh, uh, like you know disconnect you can able to terminate the session so if i'm just terminating the session it will be showing the term session is being terminated the uh, uh, work group which is being which is being used and if you see here this is being showcasing like okay also one important thing is like okay if you already have a if you already have any notebook which you like to bring bring in here you able to do that as well yep. 
so this is again it's an interesting we'll see how this works so thank you